God, he's on it. Come on. There he is. There he is. There Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Addictive Life. We're out here once again with Mr. Nick Popoff. Yes, sir. As, as always, we, we see him around here. I shouldn't even have to introduce you anymore. <laughs> really. I'm Nick Popoff. Yeah, everyone, everybody knows. Everybody knows this guy. But yeah, we're out here doing some little springer fishing. We've got some really cool uh, new toys that we're kind of playing with with Brad's, uh, Brad's killer fishing gear. And uh, we're gonna see if they get bit. They definitely look a little uh, little tasty in the water. But you've also been catching some fish out here. Yeah, yeah, it's been uh, pretty consistent. There's definitely some opportunity. I think we're set to have a decent day. But now that I'm on the boat, we ain't catching crap. So yeah, camera's I, the killer. I already of all know, lights. like, there's we haven't, we actually, like, like, we have seen one fish caught. But uh, yeah, we're not gonna catch crap because I'm out here because I'm <laughs> I'm like the ultimate bite killer. So, but anyways, I hope we catch some fish for you guys. Uh, should be a fun little morning out here. If you guys, uh, if you guys just tuning into the channel and you guys just finding out about addictive fishing, be sure to share this video out with all your family and friends and all your like-minded fishing folk that you guys know, coworkers, buddies. You guys got the drill and always subscribe because we are putting out a new addictive life every Sunday on our YouTube channel and always turn on that little bell notification. And the reason why I had to say always again, because if I didn't say that, Marlon right. would kill me. Yes, right. Marlon right. would totally <laughs> kill me. So yeah, we're gonna sit back. We're gonna be running some short bus 360 flashers and yep. uh, some super baits to see if we can get them. All right, guys, stay tuned. You got one right here. Give it to him. <laughs> Get your back into it. That's awesome. Yeah, he's got one. Dude, oh yeah. Damn, I'm telling you, we should bring get some other tuna going. Yeah. Because you never know. Yeah, yesterday was not be Oh, fish. here we go. Excuses. I have a dial. I'm gonna catch fish. Today could fish. be completely different. Instead of having everything the same, that's what I did yesterday. I ran two and two and thought you were Are you guys listening to this out there? Oh, they do have one on. Are you listening to this right now? Nick's freaking out because we've seen like two fish caught, but I'm not helping. No, this. Nick's not freaking I out. I'm not helping the situation yet. at all. <laughs> this is when it started yesterday, though. Yeah. I, I brought out the good stuff. Ooh, it's not light. Tuna. It's the light chunk. You're chunk light. Can openers? Huh? They're the bomb, dude. Oh, what a nice fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> Mama, that mom, fish's mama was a steelhead. <laughs> We're right getting into the thick of it, guys. So, seeing a few fish caught. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it will be our turn here soon. So, hopefully that was a really cool jump by that fish, though. But we still haven't been bit, but we've definitely uh, seen a couple. You know, it's, you can turn around here and look back, and we're definitely in the thick of things. So a lot of boats have got out here this morning. You know, things have been happening. These guys are gonna land this, check this out. These guys are gonna land this fish right here. Oh my gosh, look like a little red super bait. Here we go. No, 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 no. It's in the motor. Oh my God. Oh, it came out, it came out, it came out, it came out. It came out. High tent situation here. Oh my God. Come on, dude. You can do it. Here it is, here it is. Got him. Woo! Nice fish. That rod just got bent. Straight little. Bat, bat, bat. Like oh, he's coming, coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. Come back. Come on. Oh my god. Oh. Come on. Did he hit it again? He can hit it. I've had him do that like I reel it like this the and then stop. This, this bow rod just went doo -doo, just once like doo -doo, doo -doo, like it was ate it going forward. There he is. Right at 25. Oh my god, look at that one. There's a 25. Oh god, he's on it. Oh, eat it. You're gonna use it. I got it. Fish on. Nice call, Nick. Yes, I've seen that one. Nice call. Seen him on the finder. I ran up and stood by my rod. Nick was calling it out. Hooked him right up. That a boy, Nick. Oh, it's a good one. Nice fish. This is, on the, this is on the new. This is on the new new. Oh, 
coming home. Yeah. That's so sick. Nice job, Nick. Yeah, baby. Boy. Yeah. That a boy. So now we're gonna run a little clip of this morning when we were talking about something in the dark. Can't really show you guys too much of what was just went down right there. Well, let's just say Brad's is working on some really exciting things. Let's see if it catches some fish today. If this uh, port side bow rod gets bit, you know, remember this moment. They can get a little color, that's all they can see. That a boy, guys. So we've been out here trolling a little bit this morning, seeing a few fish caught. You know, we were in the crowd of boats and not much was going down. And Nick's like, you know, I want to cross this river, get away from the pack a little bit. You know, if you're fishing with 500 boats and they're not catching fish, the last thing you want to be is one of them, right? That's right. So he busted us over here and we just got to a new little area, a little less boats. We saw a fish on the finder, came up and just wailed on it. <laughs> just well, I ran up to the rod and had my hands there. And he, if I would have picked up the rod, he would have bit it in my hands. Yes. But there he is. All right. Yeah, buddy. That a boy. Good stuff, bud. Good fish, guys. On the board. On the board. That's a nice fish, too. Got the old bucket lead. Should I go stand by my rod again? I know. Just sit like this. Oh my god. Yeah, we caught that fish earlier and we just marked another fish. And I figured I'd go stand by my rod and put my hands around it like Maybe, maybe that works. That does work. That's the it did work. That's the only way we got time. one to commit. It just, it's the green gloves. You got the wrong color gloves, dude. It's the, oh my God. I swear to God, this was getting hit. I swear to God. Did you see that? <laughs> I swear to God. It was getting bit. It was just like this. It was all. I swear. Oh my God. I swear to God, this was getting hit. I swear to God. Did you see that? The secret for ads. Oh, darn it. Got another one, baby. Get over here. <laughs> nice. You good? Wild. Oh, no. All right, guys. So this one is a wild fish. So we're going to have to let this guy go. He has got an extra fin. Oh, what a beautiful course. fish, though. Woo! He's not breathing. He's not? I'm gonna put it here. You wanna head oh, wait, he's starting to kick. So, Come usually, on. if I get a fish here and he's not ready to quite take off, I'll take my time with him and just kind of get him back to oriented and uh, just let him get, uh, get to breathing and back to uh, where he's ready to go. He's not quite ready to go yet. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but it's definitely nice to be nice to these fish and give them a chance to swim off in a, a good pace so you know they're not just going to get sink to the bottom. Yep, here he goes. Almost. He's kicking. Will he go? Will he go? Oh, God. Okay. Cool. Good. Cool. Living the dream. Red line. How can you drink that stuff? Shut your mouth. I'm already. I'm already Gacked out of my mind when I'm fishing, but this just gets you that extra edge. See how I noticed that bite? I see things other people don't. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is how important this is, dude. Seven, seven point five percent in movement or improvement in reaction time, <laughs> and an amazing fifteen percent increase in mental focus. I mean, I'm dialed out here, baby. <laughs> That's a hundred percent salmon. Eat it. Let's start a cheer. Oh, eat, it. eat it. Eat it. Oh, oh he's going the wrong way. Scared him, dude. Scared him off. Hey, fish. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not. 
It's not. That kicking just came off. It was some. Yeah, it felt really heavy. It felt heavy for a minute. It looked heavy. Right there. Yeah, I saw it. I heard it. Who am I right now? Who am I right now? I got the green gloves. I got the hat. I do not rock the flat bill like Nick does. Like, there's a fish though. Oh, we got two fish on the finder, bud. Oh, you're going big. <laughs> <laughs> got my green gloves. Got my green gloves. I am rocking the pop off. I'm channeling my inner pop off. Pop off. Now you just need a fish. That's the only oh, yeah. thing you're missing. That's the only part I couldn't do. On the bow rod, bow rod, bow rod. Oh god, he's in the gear. Oh my god. Eat it. Oh, he's going back down. He's, he's, oh, still he's, 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 he's still falling. He's still. He's still doing it. Dude, strip out a little line, Cam. Right there. Stop it. Stop it. No dice, huh? Oh, they just hooked up out there. See this, Mark? Right there. That's a fish coming, streaking up from the bottom, right into the gear. And then you can see him on the down scan right here. That white dot. I was going back down. Now. Dude, he followed it the he whole kind of, He was all the way, way up there with it. Are you kidding me? God, he was right in the gear, dude. It's starting to go here, boys. It's getting kind of exciting. All right, guys, quick update here. So we've got a couple fish, and I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. We've had some pretty exciting times fishing the new Brad Super Bait, or the new Brad's Super something. I don't know if it's a Super Bait or not. But simple. I've got to show you what has been the absolute difference maker here when you're going fishing with a professional guide like Mr. Nick Popoff. Let me show you. He has got the pro sprayer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you do not have the the pro sprayer, you ain't nothing out here. Like, look at that. I just saw that. I'm like, really, dude? Like, this guy is so pro. He has a pro it has sprayer. Has to say, bro. Actually, it has they've to especially say, made that for me. I figured they did. Thanks to. Look, uh, it matches your gloves. Thanks to Go. Harris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate the sponsorship, <laughs> Harris. <laughs> I had to do it. I just saw that. I'm like, no freaking way, bro. All right, guys, well, we have a little break in the action, the little action we've had. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through the setup, kind of show you how we're fishing this specific fishery and um, kind of the setup and the rod and the reel and so on and so forth. So in this fishery specifically, you're using heavier lead, 12, 10, 12 ounces. So I like a little bit heavier rod. Uh, you want to try to stay in that 10 foot six range, you know, anywhere from nine and a half to ten and a half feet. And this is their extra heavy series, and that's just specifically so you can hang a little heavier lead on it. And when that that super series flasher is pumping, it's it's really able to hold that, so you're not getting so much bend in that rod. Then we go down to the reel. It's an Okuma Coldwater SS. Um, it's got the line counter on. That's the most important part about this setup is the line counter. It's really gonna help you, um, you know, pinpoint those fish and be able to get your gear in the strike zone accurately. So here's kind of the whole setup from start to finish. So I run this little bead right here to start. I put a bead on there. Next I go down to this little, this is a line lock. Basically all it does is it allows your bead chain swivel to slide in there. So this can continue to rotate because as that three, that, that uh, super series flasher makes its 360 it's going to spin your line up so if you don't have something stopping this bead chain it's just gonna twist this line all up and it'll become a complete mess and then I go down here to this basically just has the bumper to a bead chain and a duo snap and then this super series is going to come with these two snaps on it here and then we'll run this down to our Brad super bait and this is just an original super bait here that I'm running then we have a little bead and a bobber stop and then to my hooks here so that's pretty much the complete setup of what we're doing out here and it's, it's a very successful way to fish and hopefully this helps you guys in the future catch some sprayers of your own <laughs> <laughs> I've been taking my hat off Sean, during the day. But Josh. look at this camera. 
It matches my hat so perfectly, dude. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We are reeling them in. We uh, did a little half day out here. Had some good action. Time to put the rods away. The best part about this, Nick, what? is this is the time of day that we get to use our pro scrub. Oh yeah. So like this is Will the pro sure scrub model. It says pro on it. So, you know, it's all down. Here's a sneak peek, guys, of what's to come. Trust me, you're gonna want them when they come out. All right, guys, there it is. Willamette River Spring Chinook. What a beautiful fish, man. I mean, look at the quality of that meat. And I did a pretty good fillet job on that, too. I don't say so myself. Just kidding, Cameron did it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pretty good day overall, though, man. I mean, no. what did you say? I, you know what, it was a good day, but you know, like we always say with Addicted, you know, we're always out there testing and trying new stuff. Mm -hmm. And man, the new Brad's uh, little uh, yeah. thingy there did, I mean, ultimately ended up landing both our fish and, and got a lot of our bites. So. Had all five of our bites today. Yeah, so. and that's that, that speaks volumes. I mean, it was good fishing out there. There yeah. was some fish. Best, yeah. Due to COVID and all the seasons right. shutting out, best springer bite I saw this year. Yeah, me too. Like, yeah. by far, yeah. glad we got to take one home. But, you know, I'm glad you guys came along for the ride and got to maybe see a little sneak peek yes, of what sir. we got coming down the pipe. But we just want to let you guys know that this is why we're always out there researching. You, know, you had three guides in the boat and Sean. Yeah, yeah. Sean, yeah. Fisherman Sean, 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 camera guy. You got a <laughs> nod when I say that, Sean. No, I'm just kidding. But we got to, you know, we have three guides and this is what we do. You know, this is what we do on our days off. That's right. We do some research yeah. and we always are testing and testing and trying new things for you guys out there for the addicted community. So, and hopefully, eventually, it'll be brought to you and make you guys more successful. Ab absolutely. But even if you don't even fish around here, and even if this is the first time you've seen the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. We got lots of great stuff every Sunday, Addicted Lifes, and Live Feeds on Wednesdays, and all bunch a whole bunch of tutorials and great content out there. We appreciate your guys' support. Please share this with your family and friends. Thumbs up, baby. We'll see you on the water. See you on the water, guys.